What's up, fanboys and fangirls? Welcome to the first ever unboxing video for fanboysanonymous.com. I am your host, Tony Mango. You probably recognize me from the audio podcast side of things, but today we're doing video, and that's because of this guy right here. This is one of the signature hero boxes from superherostuff.com. Good folks over there were nice enough to send one my way, and that's because this is one of the limited edition Star Wars saga boxes. And that's all to tie into the upcoming release of Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens. Now, since Fanboys Anonymous is doing Star Wars Month, and we've got Black Friday coming up in a couple of hours. Oh, God, I'm not looking forward to those crowds. Uh, we obviously have gift-giving is going to be a big part of the next couple of weeks and stuff. We've got Christmas coming up, and we got Star Wars fans are going to be really wanting a lot of that kind of stuff. So I figured, what better time for us to link ourselves together and show you guys what SuperheroStuff.com has to offer for their subscription services and stuff. It's a mystery of what's inside of here, and I'm not going to ramble that much longer, because I know you're all here to check out what's inside. I'm really excited to check out what's inside. I'm going to open this bad boy up right now. Alrighty, guys, so I went ahead and I cut that open to make sure I got that out of the way. We don't need this exchange form, because we're not going to be exchanging anything, returning anything. So, we got something packaged here, something that a little bit breakable. Looks like we got ourselves a cup. We got Kylo Ren. We got uh, Gwendolyn Christie's character. Was it um, Captain Phasma? A couple new stormtroopers and everything like that. Pretty neat. Finally, a little bit of Poe Dameron. He's like not been anywhere, but yeah, at least it's on the cup, right? And we got another one here. This one says, uh, Rule the Galaxy. This is the First Order. Ooh, Stormtrooper thing right there. That's I actually like that one even better. And let's put this off on the side. <laughs> we got a pair of socks with the nice Rebel logo on there. Might have to wear those Christmas Day or something like that. Next up, we got Lenticular Puzzle of Kylo Ren. I am probably not smart enough to figure this out. I'm not going to try to do the puzzle right now, obviously, but that's going to be a cool little game for people to play, so nice little addition to this. Uh, we're getting classic stuff here. We got Han Solo and Carbonite Ice Cube trays. Alright, that's pretty awesome, I gotta admit. That's a good idea here. <laughs> I'm curious to see uh, if they actually turn out to look like Han Solo and stuff, or maybe if they melt the same way that Han Solo melts and stuff. Maybe we need to use some kind of, like, little uh, laser beam sort of thing to actually break down the ice. We got ourselves a hat. Star Wars Rebel logo on there, Rebel Alliance. And typical instructions are there in case you want to read in French or Spanish or whatever like that. Pretty sweet. One size fits all, I'm pretty sure. And now we're getting into the t-shirt, which I'm going to put that aside for now, actually. Because I'm going to take another separate shot where that's all the way opened up. Next up, we have a couple of buttons. Who's your daddy? Uh, what's this say? For Leia, I'd just as soon kiss a Wookiee. We got a little stormtrooper there. And we got the classic A New Hope. So a nice little set of buttons for those that are into the button game. In case you're into the fad of wearing your little uh, wristbands and stuff. Uh, I'm not going to get that all the way on and stuff like that. I'm not a wristband guy, but that is still kind of cool. Get a little Imperial logo thing. I don't know if you can really see that there. Let me get close up on that. Uh, Imperial logo. Let's try to redo this again. There you go. The old Empire. Got a little thing for that, too. Uh, then we got a bag. Anything in the bag? Uh, I don't think there's anything in the bag here. I'm going to open that up just to double check. A little bit of tissue paper. That's obviously not part of the whole thing. Uh, but we got a little bag that's got some more Poe Dameron, who really has been shafted on this whole promotional stuff. But we got BB-8, we got the Millennium Falcon, we got Kylo Ren uh, next to Poe Dameron there. And then looks like lastly... Well, we got this uh, Rebel Without a Cause thing. Is that just, uh, that's a magnet, actually. I thought that was just a piece of paper. It's a nice little magnet you can throw in there. Some information, stuff about things that you can order, whatever. Oh, I'm dropping shit all over the place here. 
Metal Earth Model Kit for the AT-AT or the AT-AT. I always called it the AT-AT. I never did the AT-AT thing. And I never called them the Chicken Walkers either. I always say AT-ST from getting those correctly too. So for the model people, you know, you're interested in that kind of thing. You get the little model of the AT-AT. Pretty sweet, huh? So while we're at it now, I'm going to switch over this and show you what this t-shirt is in its full glory. All right, so here is our t-shirt. Got those bounty hunters that went after everybody in The Empire Strikes Back. Of course, Boba Fett, the main man in the front there. And I got IG-88. We got the Slave 1. Can't remember the name of this guy right here. Do you remember his name? I don't know. He sucked. Boba Fett was the man. And uh, <laughs> so that's our T-shirt that we come with here. Uh, pretty sure every single one of these comes with a T-shirt. So that's one of the, obviously, the, the big catches here is the overall haul of the whole thing you got everything that's up here i forgot to mention this little card that's got some uh, tuscan raider art on there all in all pretty good set of stuff i mean uh, this is the first ever box that i've ever gotten and stuff i'm happy with it i think that you guys would be as well if you are interested in the star wars stuff you definitely want to make sure that you check out these star wars saga boxes because I don't know how much longer they're going to have these. They are a limited edition. You want to make sure you grab them while you can, especially for the holiday season, for any of those people that are interested in the upcoming film. And you know that there's going to be even more Star Wars fans when that comes out. So jump on it while you can. Get some cool stuff. Get yourself a hat. Get yourself some cups. Get yourself a puzzle. Hopefully you can figure it out. Hopefully I can too. We'll see. Maybe I'll post a little update about whether or not I can figure it out. Uh, you know, bag to put everything else in. Got some socks to go with it too. You can go with the t-shirt that you got. I would have to say my favorite thing out of all this, it's got to be either the hat or the ice cube tray stuff because I just think that that's a weird concept and that, that's that's pretty interesting and stuff. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people that are going for the uh, 3D model kit of the, the metal thing. And, you know, there's going to be people that like everything. So you get a little bit of a wide variety of stuff and it's all cool. Well, that's it then for this video. Thank you all for watching. Thanks again to the people over at SuperheroStuff.com for sending the box over to begin with. Make sure you guys head up their website, send them a lot of love on behalf of Fanboys Anonymous. And make sure that you keep paying attention to Fanboys Anonymous as well because we got a whole bunch of Star Wars stuff coming your way. We've got podcasts about the new film. we got podcasts about the old films articles breaking down a bunch of different stuff so you got to go to fanboysanonymous.com to get that stuff subscribe to our youtube channel youtube.com slash fanboysanonymous check us out on itunes and stitcher follow us on facebook and twitter and until next time everybody may the force be with you